I can share the insights that I've gleaned on my journey the hard way so that you can cut right to the chase, skip all of the hard lessons that I've had to learn, just take the warrior knowledge that I've accumulated over the past 12 years of hardcore fitness hacking and six years of being in orthodontics. Let me help you. You know, everyone's getting dogs and cats now, kids. Oh, let's get a dog so little Jimmy can grow up with a dog, right? And then little Jimmy has freaking allergies for the first eight years of his life and he grows up a mouth breather because, you know, he can't breathe through his nose. Then little Jimmy ends up seven years old and he goes to the orthodontist. He's got crooked teeth and, and then Dr. Bozo the Clown, who's got to make the payment on his AMG Mercedes in his fucking vacation house in Martha's Vineyard, needs to he needs to just you know get Jimmy in and out because he's got to have you know 40 Jimmys a day in order for him to make his house and car payments and, and keep stacking stacks so what's he do oh oh little Jimmy we can get your teeth straight you know let's just yank out eight teeth we'll just amputate eight of your teeth that'll give us space to straighten you out you'll be in and out of treatment with me in a year and a half doesn't that sound perfect year and a half $10,000, you can have a perfectly straight smile. And that's how our healthcare system works. And then after little Jimmy gets those eight teeth yanked, he gets even worse. Then he gets ADD. They throw him on Adderall. Then he becomes the antisocial. They throw him on fucking Xanax and, and fucking Prozac. And, 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 you know, and they get him an iPhone so he can fucking pass his time on TikTok instead of... Instead of being miserable and suicidal, he can just be on TikTok and, and, and numb his life away through that. You know, and then if he's lucky, he's smart. He probably is smart. And he does some Googling and he comes he comes onto YouTube. He t decides to take advantage of the, the, the resources he has available to him. He comes upon jaw hacks. He figures it out. And then he books a consultation with Ron. Ron tells him about the local MSC provider, the local orthodontic surgeon, tells him about mewing, tells him about how he should be doing kettlebells every day and eating more steak, fucking chewing gum, spitting game to girls, developing his social skills, working toward a good career so he can have money in the bank. And then he, you know, expands his jaws a little bit, gets his life in order, takes a step toward being a good, good man. Do you relate to the little Jimmy story? Are you facing that same struggle? If so, let me help you. Let me guide you through your own jaw hacks journey, whether it be involving MSE, double jaw surgery, or whatever's best for your airway, your jaws, and your needs, even if that just means coaching with regards to lifestyle stuff, training, diet, whatever it is. I can share the insights that I've gleaned on my journey the hard way so that you can cut right to the chase skip all of the hard lessons that I've had to learn, just take the warrior knowledge that I've accumulated over the past 12 years of hardcore fitness hacking and six years of being in orthodontics, let me help you. Sign up for a one-on-one -on -one chat. They're going to go through January. Come February 1st, chats are done because that's when I start my three months in my seasonal job as a tax preparer. So if you're interested in chatting, now is the time. You can sign up at jawhacks.com forward slash chats, link in the description, and I look forward to chatting with you and helping you rise out of the ashes and grow up and out of your little Jimmy situation. All right. Peace. You know, a healed, responsible, healthy man who's not just coping, but who, who actually might thrive a little bit. No one's going to be perfect, but at least he's surviving. Right? And that, it, it didn't have to be like that. He should have never had to talk to me. He should have just grown up with a normal face, had a good, healthy upbringing, been a Chad, played some sports, probably not football because football is destructive to the brain, maybe baseball, maybe basketball, maybe, you know, volleyball, whatever. Something that gets him developing his hand-eye coordination, gets him on a team, doing teamwork, developing social skills, using his body in competition with other men, da 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 and he should, you know, he should have been normal. But because, it's not because he was living in the city this all happened. It's not about urbanization. It's about bad ideas from the top down. And then we have better ideas coming from the ground up through things like my YouTube channel and, and similar. But this is really a failure of public health. 
is what it is more than anything. Is it is it uh, a concerted effort to weaken young men so that they become more docile? I don't know. Certainly, if you if you connect the dots looking backwards, that's what it appears to be, right? Like you could not design a more perfect sabotaging of young men's health, wealth, and happiness if you tried. It's all so perfectly orchestrated. You know, every possible bear trap is put in front of young men and women, but young men are the ones I, I sort of specialize in and I talk to. My channel is 90% men or more. So it's um it's a dark it's a dark time we're living through, but we're gonna get through it. We're all gonna make it. All of us. We're all gonna make it. We're not gonna be perfect, but we're all gonna make it. We're all going to be better than we could have been if we didn't put in the effort to try to climb out of this hole. 